The joint project between the EU and the International Organization for Migration was launched in 2016 with a $203 million budget. It not only aimed to bring migrants home, but also helped them jumpstart their lives. But even with a grant, repatriation is not easy. When I was working in Italy, I could earn 1,000 euros per month, sometimes 900 euros, sometimes 1,100 euros, depending on how many days I worked. But here, this is not real work yet. Here, I have space to sell things, but for now, it's not working. You won't always sell something because you're open. No, I don't sell anything. It's not like working in Italy. Most returnees struggle with overhead costs and competition from established businesses. I make no profit. After paying rent in fabric, there's nothing left. Experts say more research and support is needed, something the IOM has acknowledged. If someone gave me a massive project, I don't think I would succeed. Um, and so it really is how do we accompany the migrant in the best way so that not only are we putting them in a situation where the project is something they want, but also something that their community wants, that their community needs. Um, and then how do we show them at least the small elements of management that will enable them to sustain a business. The IOM tracks returnees' progress and distributes information about the possible threats if they try to migrate to Europe again. However, in the face of a growing African workforce, experts are concerned about the long-term effectiveness of the strategy. Beryl Oro, CGTN.